Hey folks, welcome to a new general topic video about music composition. In this video, I want to talk about two broad tendencies about art creation that go under the name of modernism and postmodernism. <laughs> Modernism and postmodernism are just general aggregators of different approaches to artistic creation and they can be used to uh, understand the motivations behind uh, a certain work or understanding certain stylistic features. First of all, let, let me state that neither modernism or postmodernism are specific artistic styles. Uh, the fact that they are present in different art forms is clear indicator that they are not referring to a specific stylistic choice or artistic movement but rather they are useful to understand the motivations behind certain works and how these two ideas are an attempt to answer important questions about the role of art in modern society Whether art is entertainment, is a form of knowledge, a way to expand our cognitive abilities, is it a form of communication, is it a spiritual endeavor, or is it one of these, or is it all of the above? It might be hard to address whether a work is modernist or postmodernist if we just consider a single work but uh, these two ideas can be useful to address certain stylistic trajectories and address certain stylistic choices over time so modernism is usually traced to the beginning of the 20th century, uh, some people trace it a little bit earlier, and uh, it leaves across different art forms and in general refers to an idea of breaking from traditional canon and advance uh, music, music towards a certain goal. In my previous video I talked about Adorno Adorno is a good representative of the modernist idea. He believes in artistic progress and he has clear ideas of what this progress should look like. The 12 tone idea is very modernist in a way that drops tonality as a system, but also because he proposes a new way forward which is an important tenet of modernism. Not just a rejection of tradition, but also a way forward to create new ideas more in tune with modern times. Schoenberg is the starting point for modernism in music, but his general approach to music is embodied and continued by composers such as Boulez, Stockhausen and Xenakis. Even if they didn't embrace the 12 tone idea in the way that Schoenberg intended, they still embraced the idea of having a new system to replace the old system. Postmodernism uh, can only be defined after we have defined modernism as it is a challenging of one of modernism tenets which is the idea of uh, progress and the importance of technique. John Cage stated that the 12 tone technique gives you the bricks but no plan.
postmodernism it goes to the core of the problem, which is what is music to begin with? What is its role? What is it supposed to convey? And uh, it does not necessarily answer that question, but it just proposes this question to the audience through the work of art. Cage famous 433, uh, which is a piece where the performer uh, does not play a single note, brings the audience into the piece, making it aware of itself, really breaking the third wall between the piece and the audience, where the audience is actively participating in the piece and being challenged to question what the limits of the medium are. In that sense, postmodernism uh, is a more philosophical mindset. Both modernism and postmodernism are an attempt to answer this question. What is music supposed to achieve and what it is to begin with? I think modernism does give an answer, an answer based on a natural progress that the composer is supposed to follow. And uh, each work of art is justified if it brings the discussion, the technique, the art form forward. Uh, so that, that's the justification, that's the impetus behind uh, the modernist philosophy. If the current audience does not understand this particular uh, way of writing music, it's because it's in a way uh, not yet understood, but it will be in the, in the future. So in a way, modernists are in a dialogue with future generations. For a postmodernist composer, there is no clear path, there is no clear progress that we can follow. The only way that we have to keep creating is by questioning the art itself. What is the role of music and the role of art in modern society is, of course, a question that cannot be answered easily. What triggered the modernist movement and subsequently the postmodernist movement is the perception that this role has changed in a post-industrial society. The writings of uh, Walter Benjamin, uh, who is another one of the critical theorists of the Frankfurt School, is very important. He wrote an essay called The Work of Art in the Age of Mechanical Reproduction. He considers how art has changed as a result of the industrialization, which makes the reproduction of the work of art an effortless endeavor, depriving the art of what he calls the aura. A certain quality which made art unique in past times. So if we had to see a painting, we had to go to that place. And the object itself possessed this aura and made it an invaluable piece. Same thing for a certain 
piece of music that had to be performed and was only present in that moment at that time. Since this has all changed, the work of art has changed as well. Modernism responds, there is still work to be done towards um, an artistic progress. But in order to do that, the artist needs to shed all of the tradition because it's not relevant anymore. While the postmodernists uh, see this as a different problem, not a problem of moving forward, but a problem of having to reinvent uh, completely the art itself and questioning its role. So I hope this was informative. Thank you for watching and until the next time, take care.